Welcome to the first bare knuckle MMA event down here in South Florida. So right now we are at the Panthers Stadium and we are about to film our fighter Ryan Coos for Law of the Goat. Talk some more shit on camera. I wanted to show you guys a behind the scenes first hand look and you're going to see everything from interacting with the fighters and how we're shooting in a live event. Here we go. Here we go. This is our first time in the Panthers arena and um, definitely the biggest event we've ever filmed so far. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Is he the first fight? Do you know? He's the second fight. Perfect. Whenever I'm in a situation where I have no plan or I didn't do any pre-production and I'm just purely documenting, the first thing that runs through my mind is how are we gonna start this story? How are we gonna introduce this character and introduce this night? And even in the middle of everything going on, I made sure and I took a moment and I asked everybody, hey, can you clear this area just so I can get a few shots with Ryan before the fight starts? It's good. Do me a favor, clench your hands a little bit. So I quickly got a wide, a medium, and a close-up just so I had those isolated shots so I had more to play with creatively when it came to post-production. What do you see happening? I, I see this fight going a lot of ways. I just see me hitting him with a whole bunch of clean shit, drowning him. This, uh, this was pretty short. What's up, my brother? Yo, yeah, yeah, we got to talk later. Um, this was pretty uh, short notice. Why, uh, why bare knuckle? Why bare knuckle MMA? This my, this my opportunity. I've been, I've been doing this shit for too long to not jump on opportunity. If I ain't ready for it, I'm gonna get ready. I'm gonna be ready for it. I've been, I've been fighting realistically my whole life. In any situation that you're filming a documentary, a really important thing is to capture candid in the moment perspectives of your subjects because this is gonna be able to give you a lot more room to tell your story and a lot more depth and opportunity to take your story in different places. What's up, man? Now hold up, wait a minute, because as you can see, I'm answering my phone in this clip. Now, they're laughing at me, but let me tell you something. This dude told me the day before we had to shoot this, that we had access. That gave me zero time to go out and source a crew. Sosa had a shoot earlier that day, and it turned out that he showed up like 10 minutes before the fight started. Awesome, hold on. I'm coming right now, hold on. Sosa just got here. Hold on. He's cool, he's with me. All you gotta do is say you're with Law of the Goat. Yeah. Get a quick, get a quick one. Ready? It's a video. Oh, it's a video. <laughs> Ready? You just made it. This shit is about to start right now. Yeah, it looks okay. Okay, I'm gonna stay with Ryan and stay on that side of the cage. Same side is awesome. You get on the opposite side. Ride me, I'm gonna be right behind him. Gotcha. Representing Broward County, Florida, the third street seven, Ryan Coos. Normally, I get clearance weeks in advance and I have a full crew ready to go. But in this situation, we kind of just showed up and hoped for the best. And we were just trying to make do with what we had at the given moment. Here we go, baby. Here we go. It's looking good. This shit is looking good. I was just in the moment of like, okay, just focus and place yourself in the best spots possible because you have to kind of understand where the fight's gonna go and where to put yourself to get the shots that you need. There was a moment where I just started getting frustrated because there was so much coverage that I was responsible for. Can't fucking get the perfect angle. I knew if I didn't get this certain shot on my side, it was gonna be missed. Finally, I got lucky and I put myself in the right place at the right time. They should make a, make a move. Big punches from here. Kimura to the sternum now. All them to the sternum. Oh my The 
The last thing that you should always try to do when you're making a documentary like this is get as many post event reactions as possible. Make sure that you ask them questions about what just happened. So you get that in the moment, real raw response. It's different when you ask somebody a month later or a week later, even a day later, how do you feel right now? What were you thinking in that moment? You know, it's still fresh on their mind. And that's definitely something that you want to capture in a situation like this and while you're making your documentary. All right, now that the fight is over, I'm going to go outside and our goal here is to just capture different angles of the crowd, stuff that you don't want to worry about before or during the fight. You just want to focus on the fight. Now we're going to go get the other stuff, the really important stuff that are actually going to be able to cut to either before or after the fight. So let's go. First time ever filming in an arena that big. All this coordination going on. We got clearance last minute. We were able to come out here and capture this and I'm very grateful that we were. In a situation like this, you really do need a bigger crew. Even though I feel like we didn't capture it in the best way possible, you always have to look for what's the story going on right now? What's the story happening in the moment? And the story happening in this particular moment is that Ryan's coming off of a loss, his first loss. Mentally, was he going to be able to overcome that? Ryan is trying to find himself as a fighter. He's trying to find himself as a competitor and as an athlete. And I think as you're making a documentary, you have to be able to look in between the lines of like, what is their internal struggle that they're going through at that moment in time and capture that in its raw state? because that is the most important thing that you can do. Try to find the story within the story. Try to find the internal struggle. Try to find their battle, their mentality, what they're going through, and try to bring that to light as much as possible. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video. We're gonna have a lot more content like this coming soon. So I appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces.